passionate about music. With us in the studio this morning is Mike Bonanuto, who is the man behind uh, the Invisible Parents campaign, which is launching today. Isn't yes, it? morning, guys. You're right. Hi. Uh, very good. Now, listen, um, why, you said earlier on this is something that's very close to your heart. Why is that? Um, well, obviously, I mean, after the... Um, after the all the sort of the buzz of the last campaign, um, I actually got engaged myself. Oh, congrats! <laughs> oh, congrats! Thank you. Um, so I thought after I'd made quite a big deal about it, then I should actually make an honest man of him and do it myself. <laughs> um, and this it, is the marriage equality campaign that you did before. Yeah, sorry, homecoming. And uh, yeah, so it was just something that, I, I, as I said, I was speaking to people about um, after the first campaign, and it got raised to my attention. And I was like, well, let's let's try and use video because that's what I do I'm a film director let's try and use video again and and make something about this issue because I mean not now but eventually down the line I don't want my family to mean any less than any other family across Europe uh, absolutely yeah let's have a look we've got the, the clip here that you have made this is the new film uh, we're gonna do like a director's commentary version. yeah press the button commentary. now you'll okay, hear okay. Mike okay so here comes the film now Okay, so we um, we open up with this beautiful shot of uh, the young girl Jess. Uh, she was an actress, uh, actually a, a young girl that we um, a friend of mine got yeah, in touch with us about. Um, and so you, you start with these beautiful the shots memories. of them getting onto the plane. Uh, this start this to see family. I'm trying to dodge the voice. How difficult over. it must have been. And you begin to learn. Who your parents really are. It's basically the depicting her through family life, all sorts of things. The are choices fun. they made. Holidays, going on a bike. And the ones made for them. It's always about Christmases, birthdays, New Year's. It's showing that family happy memories. And throughout all the laughter. And over the top you've got this voiceover which talks about... The lessons. The, the love of the, the love. parents, really. Um, and so that's generic to everyone who... You learn that your parents can relate to their are parents only and children. Grown up. Talking about the, the lessons that you learn about your parents as you grow only up. Only then do you realise. And learning that they're actually just real people and they make mistakes. The really is. And how truly thankful you are for their sacrifice to love each other and to love you. And it's not until the end that you see that at Christmas they put the camera down and the person from behind the camera comes round and it's actually Two another bloke. Dads. And then it just holds on that really happy family moment that you have to see. Look and back. There's that message. And then, look forward. But in over 80% of Europe, this family is technically and legally unrecognised. Oh, good grief. That's beautiful. Yeah. It's on our Facebook page there, and we'll tweet it out again a bit later on as well this morning. Uh, fantastic little clip. Well done. Sorry, right, sorry, I was trying to dodge the voice over there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that sort of, quite, sort of gets the message across, I think. It does the job, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, when we were thinking about the film and how to approach it, um, we did a quite, quite a lot of creative sessions and, and brainstorming sessions, and we were thinking, how can we do this in a really positive way? Because I think that's what was so successful about Homecoming. That's why it appealed, because it was so positive, yeah. and it was tackling quite a negative issue. Mm. So we didn't want to show sort of a, a family hitting trouble at the border or hitting trouble when they go into a hospital. Maybe they go on holiday, their child cuts their knee or something, or gets um, allergic reaction then they go to the hospital and therefore and suddenly they can't have the medical attention that they need because only one parent could come in with the child or maybe none of the parents are recognized or there's questions and we thought yeah well that's just gonna scare tactics it's it's fear and my belief is you don't need to sell an idea through fear you have to sell an idea through positivity and being um, happy about something so we wanted to make a film about the happy memories that a family can have show that to people and be like oh that, that, that reminds me of, of my kind of and the nostalgic feel my family and then at the end you're like oh well why on earth is that not the same as yeah. every other family it's just it's all about quality really and that's yeah. how we like to tackle it through film well we'll put it up on our, our Facebook page and we'll tweet it out as well but for people who want to watch the video what's it called it's called Invisible Parents you can check it out on the Gaydar uh, Facebook and Twitter and also you can check it out on visibleparents.eu and please um, also share it because that'll make me happy <laughs> <laughs> and you've got, you've got Michael Cashman as well behind this so, I mean what's the hope for this now it's it's incredible incredible the amount of people that have got on board. I mean, we've got All Out, which are an online organisation about petitions. I mean, you, you've probably heard of them. You've probably signed a petition that they've done in the past. Yeah. They're always on it. Um, we've also got uh, Michael Cashman, MEP from Europe. He's jumped on board. Um, and then we've got organisations across Europe. I think in total we've got about 40 or 50 different people across Europe in all the different countries ready to start doing what I'm doing this morning. So talking on the radio, sharing, tweeting, 
and Facebooking um, and also writing on their websites as well because what we want to do is what we've done amazingly is build this team um, and everyone's done it on a voluntary basis which is it's just incredible really and it shows that if you've got a, a powerful enough idea that enough people are passionate about then you can you can get anyone you want on board really yeah. I mean I just rung up Michael Cashman's receptionist and said hey do you want to do this film I'll send you the script what do you think and the same with All Out like they they, they just um, they saw the potential really and wanted to jump on board with it what, what was your hope ultimately for this this campaign um, the hope of the campaign is that it can just raise a bit of awareness about the issue it's not there I, I mean All Out are running a petition um, off the back of the, of the film which is trying to raise 50,000 signatures um, to send to the European Commission to kind of get this thing moving in yeah. European Parliament um, it, that's one of the aims but it's also about just education it's teaching people and shedding light on something which probably they have they have no idea about i didn't know anything about this until yeah. i started delving into it yeah and if you're same-sex parents and you're planning a holday abroad you, know, really you, need, you need to look into these sorts of things before you go away yeah don't you? absolutely yeah. here it is now we've, we've just sent out as well the petition for you to sign and mike thank you very much for coming in again That's right, and no congratulations worries, thank you. about music